Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for September 14th through the 17th, Monday through Thursday, for my Virgos. Hello, my Virgos. Well, you know that I'm using my two decks, my two Radley Valentine decks. I'm using my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main reading, and then I'll pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed cards already falling. I have prayed, meditated, and infused both decks with Reiki energy. But remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay, let me pick up this card here. Or it, I don't know how many cards it is. Let's see. Come here. Come here. Okay, we actually have two cards. Two cards. They are face down. And they were reversed when I picked them up, so we're going to make them reversed here too. So let's go ahead and pick out one last card. Now, I'm an intuitive channeler. I open myself up to my higher power, and whatever the message is for whoever needs to hear it, it comes through. Okay? Okay. The 17th new moon in Virgo, your sign, and it's about taking care of yourself in all ways. Remember... Full moon to new moon, as it's getting littler, you get rid of things. New moon to full moon, as it's getting bigger, you request. So this is a good this is a good time for you to get rid of some unhealthy habits, whether that be emotionally, spiritually, or financially. Finances seem to be coming up there a lot too. And to get some new habits in that way also. Okay. Anyway, all three of your cards are face down. The third one flipped over, so that one is face up. So let's see what we have. You know, reversed energy means, to me, stronger energy. So first card, and by the way, happy birthday, my Virgos. First card for Monday through Thursday for my Virgos. Here we are. The wheel. Okay. Transitioning time, moving time, things going forward time. Again, there, you know, this is your season. This is when you're to reach out and to grab those things you want to grab, make those changes. You want to make some change, make those changes. Doing this around that 17th, and a lot of times people do it like three days before, three days after, is a really good time for that. Because this is this is all about you taking care of you. But I do feel that this is you putting out. You know, putting that out either to the you know, universe, higher power, guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, divine, archangels, whoever that is to you. This is you putting out what it is you've been wanting to do. There are some major changes that are happening. And it's, it's things that, again, for you, my Virgos, I'm going to say, make sure you're doing your journaling. Make sure you have your vision board up. Make sure you are putting this out putting it on the refrigerator like I you know I do tell you that to do. Make sure that you're looking at those things that you're look that you want for those changes because this is really a good time for you to manifest and make those changes. Okay? So Archangel Jeremiah, the wheel, things moving forward, tense, transitioning, leaving something before behind and you know entering into that new phase, that new new that change, okay? New beginnings. End of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. So, you know, it's kind of like you're not really happy with the status quo. You've been waiting for this. It's kind of, you know, I kind of feel you like, you know, like um, your, your engine is kind of revving. You're revving your engine and you're getting ready for that, you know, for that countdown. Three, two, one, go. And it looks like this is a good week for your energies to do that. Okay, next card, again reversed. Here we are. The nine of Michael. Now, Michael energy is our air energy. Thought processes. It's our it's hearing news. It's our worrying. Well, this one is all about your worrying type of energy, letting things go type of energy. Anyway, strategic thinking. Um, it's your Wi-Fi, your downloads. It is Libra. We're going into Libra season really right around the corner. Um, it's also Aquarius. It's also Gemini. This is letting go, letting go type of energy. Nines, ending, let go, letting go. You know, don't hold on to whatever this is that you've been holding on, because like I said, things are moving forward. Now you can, you know, if you keep holding on, you know, it's going to stretch you to go forward, and you're going to either have to let go of that new opportunity 
or you're going to let go of that past opportunity, past worry. Okay? Does that make sense? Oh. Anyway, your worry is unnecessary. Focus your thought on thoughts on the outcome of on the outcome you desire. Who release feelings of regret, guilt, or worry to your angels and. Your last card, this one is also reversed. This one is another Archangel. This is Archangel Shamuel. Change your life. So this, this, the energies are really ripe this week for some major changes. And again, with that new moon coming, that new moon in Virgo, it's about taking care of you emotionally, physically, financially too. So there, there's some major um, cleaning, major cleansing, major looking, looking at all of your business, looking at all of your paperwork, looking at all of your accounts, looking at how you're taking care of yourself. And there's some really, you know, it, and it's kind of like you have to make these changes. You have to let go and you have to move forward in order for that wheel to turn. Okay, so the change your life, a sudden revelation that offers freedom Break free of procrastination. So if that's been a thing for you, my Virgos, you know, stop waiting. Start moving. Embrace the opportunities that change brings. So there's a lot of, so this is a week. The energies are really ripe for a lot of changes for you, my Virgos, okay? And except for the um, that nine of Michael, kind of like, you know, you, you worry about your changes. You worry about your changes. So is this you hearing news? You know, are you hearing news of a new opportunity in any of those relationships? Remember, you know, it could be your work, job, career. It could be personal, intimate, interpersonal. It could be family or your home. So, you know, are, you know, it sounds like you're going to be hearing news that something is changing, something that kind of makes you go, no, I don't want to change. But at the same time, it looks like, it feels like the change will actually be beneficial for you. Okay? So this is, you know, again, and with that new moon on that 17th, this is all about, you know, taking care of the, you know, emotional, physical, financial. Finances are really big for you this week. I really feel financial. Okay, last card, face down, here we are. The Queen of Fire. I love this for you, my Virgos, whether you be male or female, it doesn't matter. Fire energy is... Um, Sagittarius, Aries, it's Leo energy, passionate, burning, determined. And the Queen of Fire says, go for those dreams. Don't be afraid. Don't be worried. Okay? Now, and remember what I'm always telling you. Okay? If you don't ask, the answer will always be no. If you ask or when you ask, it could still be no, but there's a good chance of it being yes also. So, you know, no regrets. No regrets. So there's... There's some things here, um, you know, but of course, all of these are your choices. But so this looks like there's a lot of, a lot of change energy that will come down to, do you go? Do you stay? Do you go? Do you stay? Okay, Queen of Fire, confident, warm, intelligent, graceful. Stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. So I do like that. I like that about not underestimating yourself. That's the thing that only holds, that's the one thing that holds you back, my Virgos. In many ways, you've got a, you've got really good self-confidence and then just, but, and you're like, okay, I've got this. And then just as you're about to make that step, you're like, ooh, but what if, what if, you know, life is full of what ifs. Anyway, my Virgos, remember the button down there. Please like, please share, please subscribe, and thank you for watching. As always, my Virgos, know that you are loved. Stay safe and be blessed. Bye-bye.